Welcome back. This one-on-one -on -one is brought to you by Pothole Frozen Pizza from Quick Trip. He's in the backfield and tripped up. Chris Barnes shot the gap. Didn't wait for the action to come to him. He attacked the action. He's got Williams make the turn. Hammered out of bounds by Chris Barnes. Well, I'll tell you what, when Barnes hits people, there is some snap, crackle, and pop to it. Chris holding Patrick Mahomes and the Kansas City Chiefs to just 13 points. What does it say about the Packer defense? You know, each week we go out there and try to make a statement that, um, you know, we're, we're an elite defense. You know, go out there and make a lot of plays. We have a lot of assets on this defense that can go out there and make plays for us. And, you know, we are battling some injuries right now, but whenever our names get called out there, we're ready to go. And um, that's, that goes for all phases of the game. So I'm excited to see what this team does. We're, you know, we're training the right direction as far as on, on, on what we're doing, and uh, we'll fix our mistakes and keep it going. Now, you've got a new running mate at inside linebacker this season in Devondre Campbell. Are there things from Devondre's game that you can learn and incorporate into your own game? Uh, yeah, most definitely. Um, you know, I'm learning from him on a constant basis. I'm learning from everybody in the room, Oren Burks, Ty Summers, uh, no matter who it is. You know, we're all able to feed off one another, uh, share, inf share information on what we've seen, what we've learned. and. Um, you know, Devondre, he's came in and did a, a tremendous job for this team. You know, he's one of those players that has, has set the momentum and set his standard from the very first game, and he's continued to climb. Now, Chris, you were high school teammates with Jordan Love. Did you talk to him this past week and kind of lend him a helping hand in terms of support? Uh, yeah, I mean, I, I talked to him all week, but Jordan's a guy that's going to keep, he's level-headed. He, you know, he doesn't get too high, doesn't get too low. If I talk to him all week, try to make sure, you know, just so, let him know that I'm there for him no matter what it is, the highs and the lows, to support him. And uh, the whole team did embrace him, uh, you know, when we found out. And uh, let him know we're, we're riding with him all the way, good and bad, and uh, we're still feeling the same way about him. So great feeling to be able to, you know, see him back on that field again, be able to play with him again like it was in high school. Uh, kind of took me back a little bit, but... Uh, you know, there's a lot of good things. I'm excited for the player that he's, you know, shown up to be. Uh, he's doing a lot, of, a lot of good things for us, and I'm excited for the future. Chris, you're as close to a natural tackler as I've ever seen. There seems to be a natural pop and violence to your tackles. Is it natural, or is it something that you've developed over the years? Uh, yeah, I'll say it's something I developed over the years. I've been trying to do that since I was playing Little League, just uh, you know, make it known, make it known that I'm a hitter. I want to make sure everyone feels me when I, when I make a tackle. No, no extra yards gained. You know, I want to bring that hit. So yeah, the more I continue to develop that power, uh, develop that, you know, in my game, I think the better it will be. One of those plays occurred in the second quarter, and the Kansas City Chiefs have a third and three at your three. And that was when you made one of those plays you were speaking of. Could you talk about that? Give us the inside scoop. On that play, you know, Coach Barry, that he put us in a great, a great call and played my job. And you know, I just want to come down as fast as I could and put a little hit on him, uh, knock him out of bounds. And uh, thankfully, we were able to hold him to three points. So uh, it was definitely a good, a good stop for the whole defense as a whole. You describe it as a little hit. I personally think it was one hell of a hit, but I'll let you be modest. Make the turn, hammered out of bounds. Chris, your second season. So you've kind of grown accustomed, I would assume, to the, the lifestyle and, and playing football for your profession. Do you like the job? You want to do it forever? I, I, I'd like to do it as long as, you know, as, as God permits. Um, you know, this is uh, it's what I've been doing since I was a kid. I have a love for this game that is unmatched. Um, you know, I always want to constantly get better at my craft. There's no better job than to go out there and just, you know, suit it with people you practice with every day. Um, it's like family to me, so when you're out on that field and you make a play, you see all your boys get excited, you're in the locker room, you get excited. I mean, I, it's moments like that you, you'll cherish forever. So yeah, this game, I hopefully play as long as, you know, long as I can, uh, stay healthy as long as I can, and uh, we'll go from there. Chris, thanks for the time, and best of luck the rest of the way. Appreciate you. Thank you.